so this little vid is just going to be a short uh, with a lot of little uh, updates in it and this is the little discus uh, that I got from uh, the Aqua Research Center on getgills.com uh, three four days ago uh, one is in the back there uh, here comes one uh, they're eating Daphnia, and they're eating microworms, uh, and they're off of uh, live brine. Um, also, the little angelfish that came with them are there, the uh, black and the platinum. And also, there are a couple little swordtails that were there uh, left over uh, from the tank being cycled and seasoned in preparation for these guys. Uh, there are two other discus and they're probably in the back this is uh, a 10 gallon we're looking in from the end so it's kind of deep back there but all four are doing great um, moving on sorry move my finger next tank over uh, in the rack we have some uh, gold ring uh, Danios. We've got several of those in here, I hope, for a spawn. Uh, also, some uh, long fin white clouds that were born in my tub last year. We've got uh, some of the Luke Bodrock, or Luke Roebuck, not Bodrock, Luke Roebuck. I had Eric Bodrock uh, watching a video a while ago. Uh, there's one of the Hawaiian blues of Luke Robox if it'll focus on it. Some of those other male guppies in there are the American Greens and they are from uh, Bam Aquatics uh, from Rick and uh, they were fry. We did a little swap a couple months back. I've got to get in and sort these guys out in here now that the uh, greens are mature. Uh, but that's the original mail that I got from Bentley uh, and this is just white light very cheap white light so you can see that they're incredible fish that's the original little mail that I got from Bentley and there were four females that grew out and there's the other male that grew out so those are absolutely stunning stunning fish and uh, this little cheap camera is not doing them uh, justice for sure moving on i don't think i've ever even shown this tank here uh, which looks a little dark right now and the fish are going to be skittish uh, they're expecting me to feed them and i'm not feeding yet uh, but these are just some rock cravenzas here Hold on, let me feed them. Well, they surprisingly are afraid of the camera. Uh, but they're just some little rock cabranzas. Uh, they're adult. There are three of them in here. And they're in the process of beginning to pair off and sort things out. There are also some um, albino picos in here. There's one back there. Uh, but the Corbenzas are pretty fish. They're just uh, rock Corbenzas, they're called. Um, sorry, not enough light to see them either. No, I'm not going to see them. Uh, sorry, that's kind of a dead spot in our video there. <laughs> In the same rack on the other side of the uh, little discus, uh, an angelfish uh, right there. Uh, these are some of the uh, sword tails that were also all born in my tubs last year. Um, and there's some really beautiful fish in there. I do still want to do a couple of breeding projects off of these. Um, that have not started those. One of the things I've just kind of got on hold right now. Uh, dropping down uh, below uh, that level, I've also got a whole bunch of uh, 
baddies uh, are varietas here. These were also all born in my tanks uh, or tubs last year, and these are some really nice fish. I do have these for sale on getgals.com. Uh, very healthy, very nice fish, and quite prolific. And then this guy next door here is a long little leopard puffer. Uh, had him for a few weeks there. And what's unique about him is that he's been acclimatized to salt water. Uh, he started out in some low brackish and then came up to a moderate and then right on up to salt water. And that was to move him to the marine tank, which is going to happen tonight. So then, turning around the other direction, I have a 29 gallon here, and these are also Mary Galbaratus that were born in my tubs last year. And again, these fish are extremely prolific. They're probably easily 200 uh, little albino plecos in there. There are only a couple of them out right now. Uh, but when I begin to feed, the bottom turns dark down there. Uh, so lots and lots and lots. And again, I have these fish for sale if anybody's interested. They're very nice, healthy, parasite-free fish. And I am going to do an update on the marine tank soon. I have got it stocked now with the exception of some more corals that I have coming. Uh, so I don't want to talk about it too much right now, but I do want you to see that uh, just just by way of having one of his hiding spots that there is a little leopard uh, puffer which are considered uh, freshwater then to brackish. You see him back there. Uh, he's about twice the size of the one I've been acclimating. I got this one at a local fish store already acclimated uh, to salt. So He's doing great in the tank. Um, it's kind of cute. Uh, the other two puffers, well, in fact, she's back here by him. Uh, you see he's hanging out back here with, he's under the sponge intake there. But he's back here with Thorn. Uh, a puffer, uh, a little box puffer. And they're big buds, and then melon is the dog face pepper. And yes, I do have some fish to unbox over there, uh, but I'll do a, include that in the next video. Thanks, guys, for watching.